Hey guys, welcome back to Somos Kids. I'm so glad you decided to join us today. My name is Mr. Johnny, and I hope you have some fun with us today. Now, it's the second week of November. Can you guys believe that? And you know what? That means a week closer to Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving comes parades, food, family, fun, football, and it also means Christmas is getting closer. So there's a lot of exciting things coming up and getting closer. But I want you guys to think and tell me what your favorite thing about Thanksgiving is. Mine is sitting around the table and eating with family and friends and just enjoying that time together. Now, what's yours? Think about what we talked about last week. It's important to have things that we look forward to so that we can be excited and not just focus on the bad things, all right? So write it down, draw it out, and find those things that you're excited for and looking forward to. Choose joy. That's what we talked about last week. And it goes right along, and it's the first part of our series, The Gratitude Challenge, because this week, this month, we're gonna be learning all about how to be thankful and live a thankful life. And that's important. One, it goes right along with the holiday, Thanksgiving, and two, it just helps you be more happy, excited, living a full life, which are also all things that could be used to describe having the feeling of the holiday season. We talked about choosing joy and how that meant that we didn't focus on the bad things, but we were thankful for all that God has done for us, for all that he's gonna do for us, and everything he's gonna continue to do for us. So we just choose to focus on all the good things and put out all the bad things, even when it gets hard. And it's okay to be hurt, but that's what we choose to focus on. So that's what we talked about last week. This week, we're gonna talk about prayer and how you should never stop praying. But first, we're gonna go and talk about our memory verse. Do you remember? It's in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18, and it says, always be full of joy. Never stop praying. Whatever happens, always be thankful. This is how God wants you to live in Christ Jesus, okay? Now, I want you guys to say it with me. We're gonna do it slower and with the hand motions, okay? So always be full of joy. Never stop praying. Whatever happens, always be thankful. This is how God wants you to live in Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Good job, guys. So proud of you. Remember to memorize this memory verse. At the end of the series, we'll have a challenge and you guys can send in videos and we'll see who can remember it, okay? So today we're gonna learn about never stop praying. And I know that sounds crazy. Is it even possible that we can never stop praying? But it's a lot simpler than you think. It just means praying means that it's all the time we spend talking to God and we can do it all throughout the day, whenever, wherever, there's no rules on when you can, when you can. You can always pray for him and you should always do it when you think about it. And it means you can talk to him, you can cry with him, you can be happy with him, you can ask him for help, you can just talk to him and just do this with him. That's crazy, right? It's kind of like people on their cell phones. Now, most of you don't have cell phones like this, Okay, maybe you want one, maybe you don't. I don't know, but people have them and we use them all day until we go to bed. If you watch people, there's not a second sometimes when they don't have a phone in their hand. And it's crazy, right? Because 
Sometimes when you're younger, you pretend to have a phone, you pretend to get texts and calls. And as an adult, I use my cell phone all the time. I text people, I call people. It's constantly throughout the day. So when we hear that we never stop praying, we can think of it like people on their cell phone. It's constantly throughout the day. We're always talking to each other. We're always connected with each other. And that's how we do it with God. As we're in constant contact, as we're constantly talking and messaging other people, we can be constantly talking and just being in touch with God. And you know what? It doesn't have to be this long, slow thing. Like I know sometimes you sit in service and it seems like the pastor just prays and prays and you're falling asleep and your mom's going like this, your dad's going like this, and you just want to sleep sometimes. It doesn't have to be that long. It's just a conversation. And the reason why it's so important is because being close to God and close to Jesus is about a relationship. It's about getting to know one another. Like your parents. You talk to your parents. They were the first person you ever met. You still learn things about them and they're still learning things about you. And you do that through talking to each other. So that's all it is. When the Bible says never stop praying, just think about it like that. Like your cell phone, getting to know your parents. It just means that we're getting closer and closer to God. We can pray when we wake up, when we go to sleep, on our way to school, on our way to a sporting event. We can pray, pray about the sport. We can pray for our dogs, our cats, our animals, for lost animals you see on the side of the road. There's not a limit to what you can pray for. You can pray on your way to church. You can pray on your way out of church. You can pray and talk to God whenever and wherever you want to. Prayers don't have to be long. They don't have to be loud. They can just be you talking to God. And there's a lot of people in the Bible who spent time and love to pray in different situations. David prayed a lot and he wrote it down. There's a woman named Hannah. She cried when she prayed. Even Jesus. Jesus himself prayed a lot. He prayed when he woke up in the morning. He prayed in the evening. He prayed when he was alone. Before he healed someone, after he healed someone, even Jesus depended on prayer because he depended on being close to God. He depended on being in a close relationship with God. Like we would depend on being in a close relationship with Jesus and with God. So let's dive into it a little more. Let's watch this video. During Jesus' time on earth, he prayed a lot. He knew that prayer would keep him close to God, his Father. Sometimes Jesus would pray with others, like when he asked Peter, James, and John to come with him to a mountain to pray. Other times, Jesus would leave his disciples and pray by himself so he would have time alone with his Father. When Jesus prayed, he prayed for all sorts of things. He prayed for his disciples, for those in need of healing, and for little children. Jesus even prayed for us and asked his Father to watch over us. That's right. Jesus prayed for you and for me. Through Jesus' prayers, we can learn how to pray too. Jesus used the Lord's Prayer to teach His disciples to pray. It wasn't long and fancy. He showed them that they could pray in a simple way about many different things. Our prayers can be the same way. Jesus also taught us that we should pray without giving up. God is always listening to what we say. The way he answers our prayers might be different from what we expect, but we can always trust his plan for us. So the next time you're happy or sad, or worried or angry, or just need help, talk to God about it. He listened to his son's prayers, and he'll listen to yours too. Wow, so Jesus prayed a lot. He did it all the time in healing people, after healing people, sleeping, waking up. He prayed all the time and it's so important that the disciples decided to ask Jesus, how do we pray? How are we supposed to pray? And Jesus took the time to set the example for how you're supposed to pray. And you know what? The Bible says that we don't have to be shy, awkward, or nervous coming in. There's a chapter, there's a Bible verse in Hebrews 4, 16, and it tells us that we can come boldly into the throne room. That just means we can be confident and be sure that Jesus wants to hear from us. He loves to hear from us. God loves to hear our prayers and that we can do it confidently. We don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be shy. We don't have to be awkward. And you know what? It doesn't matter how you feel. You can be happy, sad, 
worried, upset, you just have to keep praying. Don't give up on praying. Keep asking, keep talking to God. Just don't give up on praying. Even our pastor Sergio tells us, don't give up on praying. All right, you guys, so however you feel, wherever you are, even if you watch the life of Jesus, you can pray whenever and wherever, and you should do it as much as you think about it, and maybe even try to do it a little more. So speaking of prayer, we're doing our 30 seconds of prayer starting in just a minute. I want you guys to think and pray about asking God to help you pray more, to be more comfortable when you're praying, and to thank him for the opportunity and to thank him that he wants to hear our prayers, all right? So ask him to help you pray more, to be more comfortable, and thank him for wanting to listen. All right, 30 seconds starts now. Some prayers you guys so as you know this month we're doing challenges every week for social media and this week we're doing a pumpkin challenge parents all right get with get with your kids and it's almost kids talk to your parents about this get pumpkins paint on them carve on them just decorate them get in the in the fall spirit the spirit of the season right there's leaves there's cooler weather, maybe not as much leaves in El Paso, right? But there's cooler weather, it's nicer outside, and you can make cool decorations on your pumpkins. So do that this week, get your pumpkin, carve it out, paint it, carve it, tag Somos, EPTX, Facebook or Instagram, and submit it. But other than that, now we're gonna pray all together before we go, okay? Jesus, thank you so much that you love to hear our prayers. Thank you so much that you love talking to us. That even right now, as I am praying this, you're listening. You're actually right next to me with your ear leaned in and you're so close and you're just listening to this prayer. And I pray that all the kids would know that too. That when they pray, you're right there with them. You're talking to them. It's just about getting to know you and you getting to know them. So I pray that we would be more comfortable talking to you, be more thankful that we get to talk to you and that we would just do it more. And in your name we pray, amen. All right, Soma's kids, we'll see you next week for more of the Gratitude Challenge. Bye.